Hey guys, Busy Mommy here, and today we're going to make a potato salad. So I would call it Puerto Rican potato salad, maybe not, I don't know, it could be Puerto Rican, potentially because my dad makes it and he's Puerto Rican and we always eat it every time we have pernil or any sort of block party or Christmas party. This year for the holidays, we decided we were going to have a Puerto Rican Christmas. So we're gonna have typical Puerto Rican meal. So arroz con gandules, we're gonna have pernil, we're gonna have, of course, potato salad. So my siblings love it, everyone loves it. I am the oldest of nine, as some of you may know. So I have to make quite a bit when I make it. You don't have to make 10 pounds of potatoes, but I mean, if you want to, feel free. So basically, the way you do it, it's really simple. It's really simple ingredients and it just tastes really good. So I take 10 pounds of the white gold potatoes. I like them, they're a little creamier. Um, I just like the texture of those when I make the potato salad. So essentially what I did is peeled and boiled these potatoes. Actually my sous chef did, which made it better for me. Um, so I put them in this bowl and I just kind of take a spoon and mash them up a little bit. I don't want them fully mashed, because I like the texture of like little chunks of potatoes, but I just mash them up. And then we're gonna add to this, basically onions, peppers, red and green peppers. You can do green and some other sweet pepper if you'd like. I just like the texture and the flavor of the sweet pepper. Then I do almost a whole green apple, probably three fourths of a green apple and about a quarter of an onion. So I don't use celery. That's like one thing I don't use when I make potato salad. I just don't like it. Um, it's just not good. So for me, I just don't like it. So the green apple helps and makes, you know, adds that flavor to the actual meal. So what you do is you make sure that you cut everything really fine. So I basically cut everything in strips like this. Then I take the strip and I cut them into tiny cubes. I try to get it as fine as possible. Reason being is because this is not going to be cooked. It's going to be raw. So you want to make sure that, you know, it's all in there really, really chopped fine. Now there's no real order to this. You can put in all these ingredients really however you want. I am going to show you I do it. So I basically, I pre-chop everything and I just throw it in. Now, sometimes I tend to take it easy on the onion. So this is half an onion. I take it easy and I don't do all of it at once because I like to taste it and see if it's strong. If it needs the rest of the onion, I'll add it. If it doesn't, then I'm fine. So I'm going to add the green peppers. Again, sometimes I see how it goes and I leave some out and then I'll add more as we go. But basically you can see how pretty, it already kind of looks Christmassy, but I didn't mean for that to happen. It's not essentially just for Christmas because we do it at block parties in the summer all the time. So, all right. So I start to mix it a little bit only because once I get the mayo in there, it's hard for me to like see where all the onion and the apples are because they kind of blend in. So I like to just mix it a little bit. Okay. So once you have that, then you're gonna add the mayo. So, I mean, <laughs> this is 10 pounds, so I'm gonna put this whole container of mayo in here. Um, you can mix it and see, sometimes you might need less, sometimes you might need more. Again, it's all about what you guys like. You can actually replace this with Greek yogurt if you don't like mayo, um, if you're trying to do, you know, something a little bit better for yourself. But I figure it's potato salad, I'm gonna put mayo in it. So you're just gonna mix this up and it takes some arm, you know, this is your gym day, this is arm day when you do this, just so you know. And it's just work off some of the calories you'll burn or you'll eat when you eat this potato salad. All right, so we got it pretty well incorporated here. So now we're gonna add mustard. Now plain like yellow mustard works great. And here you're gonna add about, for this, I would say about a quarter cup for 10 pounds of potatoes. Um, if you like mustard, you can add more. If you want less, add less. It's just really your preference. I just like the way that it tastes. Now, mind you, I don't like mustard in general. I am one of those people that eats a Chicago style hot dog. Chicago style, minus the mustard, add ketchup. Don't be mad at me. 
A lot of people get really mad at me, but it's not my fault. That's just how I like it. Also, if you want to eat it the way you want to eat it, eat it the way you want to eat it. Just saying, nobody can tell me how to eat my hot dog. So, I don't like mustard, but I do like it in potato salad because it adds a little tanginess to it. I just don't like when you buy a potato salad and it's very mustardy and it's like vinegary almost and I that's just like not my style, which is probably why I started making my own potato salad because I can never find one that I like at any like grocery store that sells it. And it's like, so this one's just like, you know, I just like it better. So I'm gonna keep mixing this mustard in. All right, this is looking good. So now I'm gonna add salt. So I like kosher salt. I'm gonna add, I'd say, We'll start with a tablespoon of salt and then you taste it and you go. So the thing with this, depending on the mayo that you use, depending on the potatoes that you use, depending on the eggs that you use, because we still got to add the eggs, you're going to need salt based on that. So you need to taste it because you need to see what you like and what you don't like and what is salty and not salty. So I'm going to start with one tablespoon of salt and I'm gonna mix it up. And then I'm gonna add the eggs, which usually needs salt as well. And then we're gonna taste it and see what happens. All right, so that's mixed. Here's the thing. Mixed, I'm gonna add the eggs. I'm gonna wash my hands first. Okay. So now that we mixed it, added some salt, I'm gonna add for 10 pounds of potatoes, 14 hard boiled eggs. Hard boiled, they need to be hard boiled. Usually take about 14 to 15 minutes boiling um, if you put them all together in cold water and then you put them to boil. So two ways to cut eggs. Um, really you shouldn't cut on your hand. Uh, that's just like how I do it. But um, you can cut it this way. You can cut it on your cutting board and cut it into little cubes. Honestly, I don't have time for that. Um, <laughs> As much as I'd love to just sit and cut 14 eggs, it's already a pain in the butt to peel them. Can't handle it. So put them all in a bowl and just like rough chop them. So now you see rough chop, which is nice. I'm gonna add some salt to this because I know the eggs are gonna need salt on their own. So we're gonna do another tablespoon of salt. Mix them up and add them to our potato salad. Sweet. Again, you don't have to use all these eggs. I just really like, so I like deviled eggs a lot. This is kind of like deviled egg potato salad because um, I love egg salad and I like potato salad and so I kind of mix the best of both worlds when I make potato salad. And I guess I should keep pouring it in, mixing it in a little bit at a time. So if you do smaller batch, it'll be easier. I never do anything small, so I guess this is just what I get. A good arm workout. Sometimes, you know, just turn the bowl and mix. All right, so you can tell the way you feel the potato salad is. I think it needs more mayo. Um, so I'm going to add one, two, three, four more tablespoons. So like three quarters, so one in like three quarters container. Um, if you did five pounds, one container would be fine. I'm just going to wipe this up because again, messy, put it in my bowl. All right, let's mix it up. All right. So it's mixed up. We have the eggs in here. We have all the ingredients. Now is about the time I'm gonna add a little more. So you can add paprika. I happen to use Tony Saturies a lot here at the house. Um, it's like a Cajun seasoning that I love. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw that in here because it adds a little kick, it adds a little salt, and it adds a little flavor. So this is about a tablespoon of Tony's. Mind you, <coughs> don't inhale it. Don't inhale it. Not a good idea, <clears throat> but <laughs> there's spice in here. Um, 
You put about a tablespoon. You don't have to shake it in, you can actually measure it. Um, and then you're gonna mix it up to give it that extra flavor. So I like it, it's not spicy. I don't think, to, well, okay. Correction, to me, it's not spicy. A lot of people are like, but as Allie, this isn't spicy to you. Doesn't mean it's not spicy to me, I get it. But I'm only putting a tablespoon for 10 pounds of potatoes, you'll be fine. It just adds another layer of flavor. And instead of adding pepper to this, I add Tony's. And I think maybe that's my like secret. <gasps> I just gave you my secret. Consider yourself lucky. All right, so now that it's all incorporated and mixed up, we're gonna try it, see what we can add to it. So let's taste it. Oh my God. It's so good. I could literally eat this, not this whole bowl, cause that's ridiculous. Who can eat a whole bowl, 10 pounds of potato salad? But you know what? It's actually perfect. I wouldn't add anything to it. I probably wouldn't even add any more salt. I think maybe I'll add the rest of the green pepper only because it'll give it another, another layer of crunch. So I'm gonna add that. Let me get rid of that spoon. Never use the same spoon to try the food. Just don't do that. Like, don't be that person. I know you're in your own kitchen and some people like don't see you do it, but just don't do it. Just don't do it. All right, so I'm just gonna spill stuff all over the place while I add it. If a little bit of the onion gets in while you're trying to add this in, like it's way okay. I mean, it's really just your own flavor profiles. Again, if you wanna add whatever vegetables you wanna add in here, just don't. Don't be that person and add olives. Please don't do that. And some people do that. I don't know why they do that, but just don't do that. So I'm gonna mix this one last time. Then I'm gonna taste it again. So I'm gonna tell you right now, if you make it the night before, it's way better because it's like all the flavors just combine together and taste so good. So I usually make it the night before. I'm gonna eat it. Also because, I mean, it takes time to cut everything up and mix everything up. So you don't really wanna make it like right before you go to a party. But when you make it the night before and you mix it all up and you put it in your fridge and you let it sit and it like gets all these flavors mixed in, it's literally the best thing ever. So I would suggest doing that, mix it all up. And then before you serve it, mix it up again, just so that you can incorporate everything. But add things as you wish, enjoy it. I hope you like it. I hope you eat all of it because it's so good. But if you wanna make half, make half, not a problem. But this is the final product. Puerto Rican potato salad. Puerto Mexican Rican potato salad? I don't know, I added Cajun seasoning, so is it like a Southern? Whatever. Anyway, you get what I mean. It's potato salad, it's delicious. Make it for your family, make it for your next block party, make it for your next Christmas party, whatever you wanna make it for. Do it, it's amazing, enjoy it. Um, I think you'll like it. If you like it, please like the video, please comment, subscribe. I'll also ask if there's something else you wanna see me make, feel free to put it in the comments, Puerto Rican recipes, Mexican recipes, whatever. I can make it, I can figure it out. So anyway, thank you guys and we'll talk to you soon, bye.